Hello and welcome back to this Trails in the Sky third chapter let's play with me SLJRPG. In the last episode we made it through the right gate path. Today we're going to go do the left gate path here and with a team of people that I assume are incredibly underleveled. Uh, so let's go ahead and try that. I did stupidly forget to save and not come back so I had to redo the previous dungeon so there will be some slight things possibly quite different here but hopefully these the use of these guys will help us do a little bit vanda i believe is probably going to be our strongest bet but we can pick up more weapons as there we go look how under leveled we are holy shit vanda is our only hope right now which is not great uh, we should get some smelling salts on to the young Miss Tita. And then do the satellite beam. Vanda being being destroyed like that is also not a good idea. Let's put some smelling salts on him. That's fine. We need to make sure that uh, Gillette gets these um, gets these gets these uh, points really uh, so we get a death there okay that is helpful we desperately need the levels up for everyone so we learned some new shit which is good let's hope we get some good shit Gabriel's aura okay let's equip this one on to a lovely lady here we can however increase the power a little bit on everyone probably not by enough unfortunately no okay we'll do our best we can as we travel through this gate pass. We're really going to be looking to Mueller to carry for a bit first and also Agate to come through every now and again. Until we get the levels up here, let's just go ahead and use our Dragon Knight. It doesn't really scratch the surface. Right, we'll take out the one that we know we can take out here. Mueller's got a double attack so we'll take him there and we can defeat this angel. We only have a little bit left then to go. I will be looking at the uh, at the quartz situation for everyone once we get to our healing point, and I can buy some quartz, upgrade some quartz, everyone. We need to make sure that Josette gets the oh, wrong one, wrong one. No, and I'm gonna have to waste. I'm gonna have to waste the. Uh, the turn for Viola, which is not good in healing up. Will you stop missing, please, my dude? And now he is blind. That is not quite well at all. Let's see if we can here at least do a little bit of damage. Even if it's a hundred a time, it's still going to be fairly good. Still missing. Gisette can do a little bit of damage, and there we go. We get some lovers. We get an all ball bomb as well for Gisette, which could only say we have to. What have we got here? Again, another Gabriel's Aura. So, let's equip that to Gisette now. As it is undeniably going to be the best gear we get for her. Right. Let's see who and what we got here. We are really focusing on trying to use our S-Crafts here. I mean, Tita, I feel like Tita, once she gets some levels up, some weapons, it's going to be in a pretty good stead. But everyone else is going to not be that great. Unfortunately, we've not got that much we can do. Right. And that defeats one. Okay, that's good, at least. I'm not going to go ahead and use that right now. We're still getting 99, so meaning we're going to get some levels up for everyone as well. So that's good. So we got the option to of left or right. Let's head right. Oh, so we've got a big mech boy. Let's do as true witness. At least take out two. And then this is where it's going to get hard, ladies and gentlemen. We're just going to move some of these guys out of the way. It's a shame we don't have MP here, but we do have a critical one there. Attack with Mr. Banda is the best option there, I believe. Another Celestial Tackle. Uh, let's just attack with Gisette. Not good, not good at all. 
seeing as we're only doing 104, I should get some smelling salts onto Tita right away. So let's go ahead and get her back and kicking. In fact, all of them are in need of smelling salts. So let's smelling salts everyone up. I don't believe anyone's got Lakura here, which of course would be helpful. The gun is going to be missed. Okay. We can attack here with Gisette. And then from there, use her Bob S. Craft. Bob Craft 2. Does that at least do. Does a little bit of damage. Nothing crazy though. Banda might die from this. Banda does die from this. That is not good. That is not good at all. Uh, a Celestial Bomb straight to him is the best option here. And a Celestial Tackle to Gisette is also not good. These crits are not good either. Uh, right. We're going to have to use some of these Terrible Bombs. Just to kind of stay relevant, I believe. We'll get Mr. Vanda on attack. We'll get Agate on attack. He's not good there. But at the very least, we can use one of our Celestial Bombs and heal him up. So let's go ahead and do that. Use a Terrible Bomb on Tita. Get her back in lively. And then we should... Through Tita, just be able to death this one now in one fell swoop. Doesn't work. Okay, that's great, isn't it? Uh, attack there. Screw you, Gisette. We're taking this thing out. That is the best course of action for all people involved. Spiral Edge Tree, Satellite Beam 2, and there we go. Right, let's see what we've got here. An EP Charge 3. A Cura Balm, three. And an Acropita. So I'm going to equip that on to Agate. But give me one second. I'm going to close some programs down. And hopefully it doesn't be so jaggly in the recording. Right, we're back. I equipped that to Agate. I've done some... I, I think I just had too many tabs open. Really, too many programs running at once. Gisette is dead. I forgot about that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and give her a Celestial Balm. She desperately needs the levels as well. Because my guess is that we're going to have to do a big fight with everyone at some point anyway. So making sure that people are up and kicking is probably a great idea. You can use your turn just to give a Turtle Balm to Mueller. Get him alive and kicking. Let's see what he can do. Oh, and as he gets a Petrify, which is actually very handy. So now we only have to deal with one. The lightning flashes are annoying, but we can deal with it. You need to stop missing, Agate. <laughs> that needs to stop right now. Right now. We need to put a sentence on that. Luckily, you girls got long barrel. But Mueller hits for 2,000. What can. And now Agate is a force again, which is very good, as we get a whole bunch of levels up for everyone as well. So, onwards and upwards. Going to be fighting all the angels necessary. Oh, and then on a satellite beam, should deal with them all. That's very nice. As we get a whole bunch of levels here. Nicely nice, as let's proceed on to the next zone. I'm going to go down first, as we have these things again. We get a Vitoran for your girl, Tita. So let's equip that, and we'll fight one together as a team. We're at least now looking a little bit more up to shape, which is nice. What we're going to do is use the Celestial. We'll use the Celestial Balm that we've got here. And then Vanda, with his true violence, can take all of these guys down. And we can get a whole bunch of levels. So, what I'm going to do, rather than make you sit through it, I'm going to go ahead and defeat the three rest of these. Sweet! So they are now dealt with. Let's go ahead and explore a bit more. As annoyingly we get a surprise attack here, but that's not the end of the world. 
So I believe my previous guys made it to around level 40, so we're going to try and aim for that as well. I will do some grinding on the side if needs be. So we get another Gabriel's Aura. Which is not actually handy, because none of our guys can equip it. But we've really got a spare one now, I suppose. So we can equip that in the next lady we see or find. We're so close with Agate to be able to get his thing off, but we're not going to risk it with those guys. The special failed, which is not great. Let's get some smelling salts onto him. True Vanda. We get some levels up. I'm not, I'm certainly not shaky about using my uh, my S crafts into my profit here, especially when I can get all of these nice levels up too. So forward and run. I mean, it's undeniable Tita's becoming into a bit of a force here. It's only Gisette really letting the team down. But with these guys now on the prowl, it should be fairly easily. Getting a thousand each time sounds good to me. So we get a Grail Locket. Who should we equip that on to? These guys are so weak when it comes to their augments. It's actually kind of crazy. Uh, Lily Necklace prevents confuse. Take a Grail Locket, Mr. Agate Crosner. Team leader for this mission. Let's go ahead and fuck this thing up as well. It's good that we didn't get a death there. We get one there. I'll take all of the EPs, keeping the. Now that now we can, I feel comfortable beating these things without using the S-Craft, so I'm going to save them for what's going to be stronger enemies coming up forward. I feel like it's probably the best deal. Also, giving these guys a. Giving these guys an, uh, a proper exit strategy is probably not a bad idea. As we should just now attack these things. Celestial Flame is annoying. Celestial Attacker is also annoying. But we can save and just fight this thing down as one. Chuck it all down with our stuff. Hopefully, there's another sword for Mr. Vanda here as well. Actually, no, we're going to use your attack because you can at least deal some damage. Whereas Gisette is pretty goddamn useless here, unfortunately. Uh, smelling salts <laughs> to Mueller Vanda. Let's go. His stronger attack coming up here. So close. But there we go. We've got a whole bunch of levels up. Who is still weak? We shall give them a turtle bomb. Mr. Garte, let's go. My guess is there's going to be something strongish. Oh, we just wasted one, but that's good. So let's go ahead and open up these slots at the very least for everyone. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We should have enough to do everyone, I believe. If not, right away, very close to it. Let's do this first. Mueller is at two. Anyway, he's more of a heavy hitter, so maybe I should prioritize getting him upgraded here. Okay, we're just away on three, but I'm going to take a moment to think about the augments that these guys have got and see if I can give them anything better. So, we've got a ruby gem here that can definitely go onto you. A move three is not really going to do much for us here, but if we've got a heaven's eye, does that help? Eagle eye and information. But we've got three gold gems. Defense four. Action four. Is there anything in here? We've got a mirage gem. And if we've got any sort of water gem, then you do. Okay, so that's a lot there. There was some EP cut fours so not really going to do much here as well. So we should look to give something better here if we've got some. We do have a gold gem, so let's go ahead and give that. Hit two. A silver gem there. Do we have any more attack gems going? You have some ruby gems. Cool. HP4. We do have a sapphire gem as well. So I'm going to leave that for now. Mueller is also in need of these. 
mind four can kind of stay, action two, physical, ruby gem. I'm going to keep Petrify there, because I actually think it could become handy. Put a silver gem on him. We haven't got any, anything else really. I mean, there is a water gem there. Action two, we can at least give them a better action. Surely we have an action. We've got Nonix gem. Okay, so we're going to keep that for now. And then Gisette. What can you grab here? Mm, we can give you a Topaz Jam. Attack 3. Was there more? Hmm. Very least I can give you that. I'll give you an Evade 4. And then there was, I believe, another Onyx Gem. But we can't equip it there. That's annoying. Okay, that will do for now. At least buff them up a little bit. But we should definitely look to heal the EP. I forgot to do that. That's fine. You know what? We're going to get rid of this whilst we're... We'll just use the one. Whilst I believe we're probably still quite low down. Use our heal here. Nice. And make our way forward. What we did last time is when we saw the um, chest. Oh, so, uh, yes, okay, nice. We finally got a better weapon for Gisette. So I'm going to go ahead and attack one of these so you guys can kind of see, but I'm not going to waste too much time. One, two, and then Mr. Vanda can deal with the last one. It was indeed. I'm going to go ahead and fight these things. I'll see you guys in a second. So I went ahead and did a little bit of grinding up and opened up that last slot for Gisette so she's at least got it. I'm, I've given her a little bit of good gems. What have we got here? Another Zeran powder, which will obviously come in a lot in handy. Uh, Zeran powders will help us. I'm not too confident about my team formations I picked, if I'm honest. I've kept that Petrify on. You know, attack the boy. It's going to attack us, but. We've now at least got a little bit of firepower behind us, which is good. So, let's head right first. No. Nice, as we have another box here. Hopefully this contains a weapon for Mueller. That would be the best handing, because if we can combine his slightly more powerful skill with everyone else. We're going to just attack there. Gisette is there, but we'll give her a softening balm. There we go. Nicely done. There we go. And attack. One there. Gisette does the damage. And then Tita should be able to deal with the last two. Very nicely done. What have we got here? A Terror Balm. And then a another weapon for Mr. Mueller. So let's go ahead and equip that. He now has 300. 3,000, sorry attack, which is obviously going to be quite handy. We'll grab this here. Okay. Why get her onto cheaters? A little bit annoying, but we can, of course, deal with that. One attack there. Attack the one with the death, and then Gisette deals with the other one. As we gain some more levels and get ourselves a Curia Balm to boot. So, okay, a weird triangular thing. Let's go. A Tildorn. Let's not fuck around. Let's get that undergo. We'll take out. I mean, it healed us, which is always good. Chronos Arrow is a little bit annoying, but the attack delay is a little, little shit. But with a true righteousness. We can deal with all three pretty quickly. Nicely done. 89. As we start our ascent further into this last part. Vanda and Tita can deal with one quite easily. Still giving us a fair amount of XP, which is still quite nice. Maybe I should be doing some leveling at some point. <laughs> Where does this go? Okay, that's a red path, so we want to avoid that at all costs, is my thought process. So let's make sure we grab everything we can possibly grab here. 
my hope is that there's going to be some Raphael's Halos for the boys for the last mission. Care for a rematch? And of course, we want to get as many levels as we can before then. We've got one of these things. Let's take out one out there. And then we've got an extra strong one and take that one out there. Okay, there's another one. Boom. Take out the thing to the side. I think that's most helpful. Speak lies. Kills Tita. But what we can do now is we're just going to attack with Vander actually. And then Gisette can go ahead. It's not what I wanted to do. That's annoying. <laughs> My thumb slipped. Uh, so let's go ahead and use our Celestial Bomb on our young engineer. And what have we got here? We've got an EP charge. A tornado fan and soon to be revealed. Nice. How come they keep on getting these attacks? It's a little bit annoying, but with the long barrels we've got, Tita can easily target from there. As we get levels up to level 40, which was the plan. I love you. Nice, thank you. A Raphael's Halo. Do we get two of those? Or was I... Was I asleep at the wheel? We only got the one. I'm going to give it to the boy. As there we go. Let's make our way back. Fight this angel on the way. With that, it's angels are the last enemies. It's kind of uh, slightly off-putting, some may say. Uh, there's going to be a guard there, so I wanted to keep it fairly okay. One, two. One, two. And boom. We've got ourselves a nice little bump of XP there. I believe that that is everything. So let's go ahead and take the rest. And what I am going to do quickly before this is I'm going to save to make sure that I have the left gate done. And then let's go see what we're going to be facing. I guess this must be the end of this wing. But there's nothing here. Disengaging standby mode. What was that? Rebooting systems. Reboot process complete. Location confirmed. Currently situated in the left wing of Phantasmagoria. Confirming the presence of Intrudus. Commencing materialization process. Okay, it's the thing we fought in the Ariel in Kingdom 1. Ugh. Since she's switching to genocide mode, Revere MK2 gets guess bets, commencing elimination of intruders. But of course, we'll get to that at another point. Because if you've enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time when we take on the main gate path. Peace.